Welcome to Richstem Gaming guys and this week we've got another Adeptus Titanicus battle report. A lot of you guys seem to like them so we're trying to put them out there. We've got uh, my war griffins taking on the tiger's eyes today. They've both got Legio names but I forget them. <laughs> I can't remember them 90% of the time. Uh, this is going to be our battlefield setup. It's going to be kind of a basic game. It's not going to be anything special. Um, we are going to be using the Legio rules. Um, but it's basically just going to be a warlord, a reaver and two warhounds going at each other. So this one's going to be a good video for people to watch to see how to play the game really. Um, we'll try and make no mistakes because I know we have in the past. <laughs> but it's one of them rule sets that's a little bit overly complicated. No, no, it's not overly complicated. It's, sometimes it's worded differently. And if you're from Yorkshire you tend to miss certain things. You know, because we all spec funny. Right, let's take you to some armies. Right, these are going to be our little forces for the day. Uh, we're basically just taking the same as each other, apart from some differences on the Warhounds. Uh, we've both got a Warlord, we've both got a Reaver, we've both got two Warhound Scout Titans, which we are running as a squadron. The Reavers are just going to be armed with Apocalypse Missile Launchers on the top, and then, of course, the Turbo Laser. And what's the other one called? Gatling blaster, thank it's you very much. It's actually a laser blaster. Yeah, laser blaster. Mm. Uh, and then, of course, missiles, two volcanoes on both of the warlords. And on this lad here, we've got a Vulcan, we've got a classic combination of Vulcan Megabolter and Plasma Blast Gun, because that is a classic combination. And then on this one, there's two turbo lasers. On mine, mine's a bit different. Mine's got the classic combo as well. I think because me and Gil have been playing that long, we, yeah, we can't see. Any other thought? One of his one of his Warhound scouts has to, has to be Vulcan Megabolter and Plasma Blast Gun. It cannot be anything else. And then the second one is another Vulcan Megabolter with a Turbo Laser. So I've gone for a lot of Bolt Storm Death. Um, we're going to be setting up on the tabletop. We've got the oh, I think it's yeah the one that's called Close Quarters. So basically we're going to have an A, B, and C. A is going to have the Warhound Squadron. B is going to have the Reaver, and then C is going to have the Warlord. So we're going to be quite close with some units. I know we're not using any Knights in this one, but we're finding that, unless we're playing bigger games, Knights tend to perish very, very quickly, unless the Warlord has got an alternative target. Right. We'll get set up, we'll bring in some stratagems, and show you what missions we've got. Right, we've deployed. I've got my retrieval mission, which is the one I've actually got. That's right in the middle of Gil's lines there. And I've got my Apocalypse missile asset. Um, Gilly has got plasma a plasma generator. generator within two inch of his war warlord. Uh, that is, is actually his warlord. As my warlord is my warlord, <laughs> or Senior Princeps. We've both got interesting Warlord charts. Mine is, I get a reroll to hit if I'm within 8 inches. Yeah, I think he's going to be moving forward, not much. And uh, I think yours, good sir, was... Basically, if I do a smash attack, it's hard for you to repair. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's get into each other's face. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. I do, being War Griffins, I do have to declare a Ty uh, target for my actual main titan which is going to be his reaver no point trying to pagger his warlord when i can't destroy it so i might as well try and pagger the reaver instead so that if it targets that re-rolls once to hit and pluses one to the armor rolls but these units cannot target that because if they do i lose that benefit and bonus and uh gills special ability is on his reactor dice, even if it's a blank, he has to roll for machine spirit. So it's a blank or a machine spirit, he has to roll. But if he fails, he can pick what machine, what activation it is. So there's probably going to be a hell of a lot of shooting happening <laughs> from these guys down here. Hopefully. Hopefully a lot of shooting. Right. Um, we have to roll for priority, which we'll do on camera. And I believe it's supposed to be a D10. And I forgot my D10s. Right. We're on to see who's uh, got priority. I've got a five, and he has a ten. So you can either choose to have priority to go first, or you can give priority to me to go first. I might as well take it. Yep. So he's going to take the priority to go first, 
and we'll bring you back in. Right, so these guys have moved across here. Mariva's pushed forward a little bit. Warlord has turned. He's pretty much going to try and target his target. And then that Warhound has tried to push through the ruins. Of course, because it's ruins, it's half speed. We are letting Titans cross over this with no penalty. His two Warhounds have shifted forward to try and engage this one. And his Warlord opened up with his Apocalypse Missile Launcher onto that Warhound. But the Warhound overheated its shield generator and actually saved every single one. Much to Gilly's annoyance. <laughs> we'll remedy that. We'll remedy that. Right, so you get to pick a unit to fire with first then, sir. Bearing in mind, Gil is going for a squadron with ease. And because I messed up, those two are not a squadron. So they're just going to be firing independently. I think... I'm going to go with... Yeah, I'll go with that. He's going to go with the Warhound Squadron first. That's just right, pointless. so he's going to fire off his Vulcan Megabolt first. We are counting the trees as a minus one. So if you haven't fight, especially for units of this height. Yeah. So he's going to need, I'm not quite sure what it is for the Vulcan, but we'll roll some dice and find out. <laughs> Any sixes? No, no sixes for extra shots. Fours will be it, I think. Ballistic skill three. Three plus, and then yeah. is there any bonuses for, because it's minus one for the cover. Uh, yep, no, Vulcan no Megabolter, unless you're within eight. It's forced to it. Yep, he's so he's hit four times. That's going to impact upon the shields. Now, I'm not going to overload the reactor on this one. So I'm taking the shield hits, freeze to save, one of the shields drops. So my wall, this one, now is on a four plus for shields. Second weapon then, sir. Second, we're going to do the turbo lasers. Turbo lasers. And uh, uh, roll some reactor dice. Okay, so he's going to overcharge them for shield bane. The first turbo laser gives you heat. So that's yeah. in. And then the second turbo laser... Gives you heat and a machine spirit, so he pushes it. Now so roll for your roll your. I've got to roll the first one. Yeah, you roll. We're just gonna for the camera purposes. It's easier to do it all together. We know that your first shot is going to be a roll shot. On the chart. Yep, but you've got to roll your command check first to see whether or not you control yourself. Yep. A seven, he does. So basically, both weapons are firing normally. It's got the minus one. Any additions for a short range? No. Nope. No. So it's just going to be forced to hit, firing across the trees. Ooh, only one. It's a minus one to your shield. Minus one to the shield, so rather than a four plus, I'm going to need a five. And it does save. And then we've got the plasma blast gun. Abysmal. Right, so the plasma rolling to hit to begin with. We've got one hit, one miss. Is the plasma any minuses at long range? Mm. It is if you're over eight, eight inch. inches, so that eight, might. Easy. Yep, yep, you are within eight. That's fine, base to base. So that one is one hit and one scatter. So you want to roll the scatter dice and a d10, please, sir. D10. Yeah. Big D10. Yeah, d10s. Scatters. I know. It's gonna be that way two inches. That's probably still gonna be a hit. So this Titan still got two shields up. It's got three hits in total against it. So needing four pluses. I'm not overloading the reactor, and I lose two. Shield so the shields thing. do collapse. That were a bad, bad idea. Ooh, at it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's going to be one of mine <laughs> and do i do i pag of that with that or do i try and hit those that's probably not going to fire at the warhound but there's a good chance that that thing will fire at the warhound especially with its vulcan volcano. its apocalypse might not be in there but its volcano cannons might be so i'm going to fire with this one first before it dies <laughs> Because we know it's coming. All right, so he's combining shields, which is going to be a bit odd. But this guy's going to fire Vulcan first. So the Vulcan Mega Bolter, only three hits. So he's both of his, whichever one he picks, they're both on three pluses. So he picks one to roll. It's going to be three plus regardless. So he rolls oh, for no, dice. This lad. Are you overcharging the reactor to re-roll ones? No. Nope. That's one cheap. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well. I, I might as well do it. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. A double reactor. <laughs> oh, he's got two of his guys in orange. This is not good. He saved them all. So I didn't need it. So he didn't need it. And then it's going to be plasma gun. Right. Now, because we're not spazzers, 
we always put the center of the blast over his intended target. We're not doing that where you can put it over a little bit. This is not how we play the game. Right, so I'm within eight. That's two misses. Two scatters. So two scatters. So the first one is this way six. Oh dear. Miss in that was a miss. One. And the second one is that way four, which takes it off the table. So my Warhound didn't do anything. So now we're going to go on to Gill's next unit. Which next unit shooting, sir? Probably this. That one. Yeah. And the target is... He can split That's fire, so he can actually select two fire. different. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think everything's going to go on that. Everything's going to go on the lead Warhound. I was uh, thinking yep. about doing that, but... Uh, <laughs> Volcano can do it. I don't know what will. That so, is true. That is true. Right, let's check cover. So I'm going to Right, on. so Four. it's minus one between us. We've had a look. And uh, Gil's checking. He's firing his apocalypse launcher first. So that's going to be a minus one to hit. Yep. No pluses because of the range is only 18. So that's two hits. Two hits. I'm not overloading my shields at the moment. Freeze to save. Damn it. So that's this one. So shields are now down to the four. What's firing next? Where's the blaster? Are you overloading? Might as well. Yep, his shield bane in it. He's uh, just put one up. So, three shots, these yep. are needing fives, because I've got a minus one. Minus one. So he's still got one hit. It's a minus one to my shield roll, so I'm going to need a five. No. So I drop another shield from that Titan. Titan's got one shield up, so thankfully none of the hits from this weapon are going to hurt me. But there's a chance something else might later. Yeah. I've got split fire on him though. Yeah. <laughs> Gatling blaster then. Yeah. Uh, four dice. Four dice, good sir. Not four, sorry, six dice. Six dice, four needing four. minus, yeah, minus in one, so needing fours to hit. Is it rapid, Gatling blaster? It's got ordnance. Ah, right, okay, so. so it went effect now. That won't affect anything at the moment. Four shield saves, no point overloading. Yeah, my shields do go down by two. So, of course, they collapse. So, I've got two shields down on both of my front units. Right, Reaver's going to open up now. We've measured the range. We've got an 18-inch range to these guys. These guys are going to be tough to bring down with their sharing shields. Uh, I think sometimes maybe I might start running three Warhounds together sharing shields. That might be uh, quite entertaining. Right, so first off, the Apocalypse is going to have a hit. Minus in one because of the trees, so I'm going to need fours. So, we've got three hits. Again, you can select which... Well, they're both on freeze still. Are you overcharging any of them to re-roll the ones? No. Nope. This one. And then that's it. Sweet. <laughs> <Weighted> dice. <laughs> it right. A lot of them, don't Overcharge the laser blaster for shield bane. I've got a bit of heat coming on. So this is this guy. He's got one bit of heat there. And he's got three dice. But again, same situation as his guys. We're going to need fives. Two. So he's got two saves needing fours. Take it on this guy. Yep. Yeah. So one shield drop. I'm not getting any shield hits here. This is uh, this is getting bad. Gatling blaster. Six shots. Needing fours. Only two. You have, well, you, you can take it on whoever. So if you take it, you can take that, the three plus, and then knock his off. So one of them goes down, so whichever one you want to go down, there you go. All right. That's naughty. <laughs> well, not naughty enough. Right. right, sir. Big lad. Your turn. So big lad is firing over here. So he has to roll for his reactor first. So the first shot, he's got some heat. The second shot, because we'll do it together, has got no heat, but he has to roll a command, a command check. So it's fine. So, two shots then, sir. Needing freeze. This is going to work. This is both hit. So the first weapon, it's two four. hits. Four yep. So roll two dice, plus your location dice together. So the first one, so leg. it's leg, starting with the five. So this is the Warhound with the Plasma Blast Gun and Vulcan Mega Bolter. So the weapon strength is what, sorry, 12? 12. 12. So plus the 5. Is it 12? Yep. Yeah. 
plus the five would make it 17. That's a critical. This jumps up by two. And I have to put a critical hit marker on him. The second one hits by six again. It's another critical. Plus him one. So that goes up by two. And that goes up again. So stabilised damage and locomotion seized. That's the first hit. The second hit... <laughs> this is going to work. Head. Is head. But the one is ignored. Yes. Because it discards the one. So it's only one hit against the head. Which will be in a mighty 16. Which is going to be a critical again. And I've got an MUI feedback. Ooh, harsh. So my Warhound has taken a bit of a bagger in. He's limping badly. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got wobbly leg syndrome. Right, this lad is now going to open fire at that lad over there. So we've checked. It's a cover of minus one. So it's a plus one, minus one. Needing freeze with the apocalypse because it's 36 inch range, so I'm just over the 30. And I get to re-roll any ones because he is my chosen target. So that's eight hits. Do you wish to overcharge your shield, sir? I think I'd be uh, suing up to him. No problem. So he's now going to overcharge the shield at roll the reactor oh, dice. Yeah. So it's just one He's already moved it up. That's fine. So then he's uh, is it freeze? Freeze, yes. Freeze for the moment, and he gets to re-roll his ones. So in actual fact, his shields are holding quite well. He's only dropped one. Then we've got two volcano cannons coming in. Reactor. Reactor. So the first one, nothing. The second one, a little bit of heat. So the warlord goes up one for the heat. Two shots needing fours. Rerolling ones. So one hit, one didn't. So the one that's hit is just going to be two hits on your shield, mate. Whatever your shield is currently. Is it a four now? Will all these go at the same time, though? It's on threes at the moment. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Right, so we'll do the scatter, sorry, first. Apologies, my fault, because it's the same weapon coming in. Deviate this way. That way, two inch. So is it, still, is it still full on? Will be, yeah. So it's going to be actually four hits then. So four hits against, yeah. So four hits against his shield. I did forget about that. So four shield saves. Is he still on freeze for your absolute still reason? Freeze, still yeah. on freeze. And he's failed two. Sure. But if he would have wanted to re-roll the ones, he would have had to overload the shield generators again. Yeah. But he didn't. So that's fine. And I've still got him to fire. God knows what he's going to shoot at. Because <laughs> you, you've gone with three, haven't you? I've yeah. Done with all mine, yeah. So I've still got him to shoot, but if I shoot him, he loses his benefit. So it's whether or not I decide to do that is going to be, uh, yeah. Or do I try and see what I can see? Right, we actually did the shots on this guy. His Vulcan Megabolter and his uh, Turbo Laser were in range of that guy, but I didn't do anything to him. So <laughs> basically, done nothing. Right. So he's pretty much down on the shield. It's going to go into the end phase. So we have to roll to see what happens to this guy. He turns left. Lovely. That's good because I want to try and get around the tree. So <laughs> it's very slow movement. And underneath your shield envelope, you bugger. Right. We're going to be now going into turn two. Right, little synopsis. My guy's gone forward. He's got the head. He's on orders to run back <laughs> with the head when I can. This guy I was on first fire. Tried to fire over at uh, Gil's Reaver over there, but he's blind barraged himself. So it's quite difficult to hit. Didn't get any shields knocked off there. These guys have shifted forward. In my repair phase, I've managed to repair his legs completely. In the repair phase, because of overheats, is it this one that lost its shields? The one with turbo. One with turbo lasers lost its shields completely. And this lad here has still got his shields on full. Um... We have looked. You can still merge shields even if one of them's collapsed. So that might be something to do with Warhounds in future. Just run them as twos uh, at least so that you're getting a good shield. Uh, which I should really realise <laughs> with mine here because this is going to hurt. Right, Gil is first because he did win priority. So he gets to choose someone to shoot. Who are you shooting with, sir? How many shields has he got left? He hasn't got any. I didn't manage to get my shield back. Right. Both of my Warhound's shields have collapsed. Right, I'm going to shoot 
So he's going to shoot at him. Blind Barrage does affect his own shooting. So he is going to be at a minus for his own shooting. Is there any minuses to hit? I don't think there is from that angle, is there? I think I'm in, out in the open from that side. So, where's going to hurt? I'm we in 16, that's where we I think I will be. I think edge to edge, no. No, oh, no, no, Just a little out. tiny bit off. Wow, so that would, Three is it minus shots. two with the, is it minus two with the blind minus barrage? one, so I need six sixes. Sixes. With this. Is this, are you activating the shield, Bane? Oh, there's no need. No need. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. that right. <laughs> Where do you hit? Don't know why you're on the D10. I hit you in the 10. <laughs> hit me in the 10. Body for a fail. So it does hit me, but it doesn't do anything. You've still got the rest of your weapons to go with, sir. Gatlin Blaster. Yep. Six dice. Again, needing sixes. Oh, no, needing fives this time. Flipping heck. Why, why do I never roll any good dice like to be, this? To be fair, I need that again to even think about damaging. Oh, you might do. You never know. So body. Right. So the first six, one is five. six, seven, eight, which bounces off. It's the lowest first. Yeah. So that bounces off, and then four. the six is a four, that's a direct hit, so that will go up by one. That would be six, that would be eleven, another direct hit, which will go up by another one. And then that six would make it twelve, which would be a devastating hit. And plus one for that would still make it a devastating hit. So that will go up there. So even though his weapons are useless, if his apocalypse launcher hits me in the body, this is going to hurt. Target the body from minus one, can I? You can. Uh, no, it's a minus two from that range, and because it's going to be a oh, seven, it's going to be seven so you can cannot allow to do it. Right. So five shots, needing fives and sixes. Two hits. Weapon. So you might as well roll. Can I hurt him? Uh, nine to disable. Oh, yeah. So that would be a four, five, six, seven. That would be a fail. And then a four, Ten. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it's strength, strength dice. four, mate. You're so looking at dice. Yeah. So one of my weapons will be hurt. One to three, it's the. No, sorry, it's the wrong guy. It's a turbo. Four to six, it's the Vulcan. So the turbo laser destructor is damaged and is disabled. So thinking that he's not gonna, you know, he's gonna be doing a decent job there. That's uh, that's hurt him. Right. So it's gonna be into my shooting phase, and he's moving. <laughs> right. So my Titans. Turned and ran, hopefully out of the apocalypse one. Gil's going with these guys. I'm just going to target a coordinated strike into this. This is not good. I'm suffering. Both of my warhounds are being hurt badly because I'm not squadroned them up. That's what I should have done. I should have rolled them forward both together in a squadron. So, turbo laser. Turbo laser first Four then. Shots. Minus one. Yep, any for range. Three hits. Why can't I'm not rolling to hit me at all? And then like you're just right, so it's a weapon, right? So, um, which is this one here? None of my weapons have been damaged so far. So one to three, four to six. It's a strength eight. Yep. Just roll so, to see which so one it is. All oh, right. Yep. So it's four to six. It's the Vulcan Megabolter. So the first one hits that and it's disables it. Yep. The second, second is one is an 11, which is a detonation, which means it's a strength 7 hit on the body. So roll that. Nothing. Nope. And then again, that would be... Uh, that's a 12. That's a 12, which again would be another strength that'd 7 a 13, hit. 13, actually. Right. Plus 1. Oh, yeah, for coordinated strike. Sorry, yes, so that would be a 13. So that would be a strength 9 hit upon the body. So 9, that's going to be a 14 hit on the body, which is a critical... <laughs> Chuffing dice rolls. So I've got a reactor leak. Lovely. Um, <laughs> so far, this, this Titan's going down. This Warhound is going down. Plasma blast. Yep. Two shots. Two shots. We'll, eight, um, think, uh, should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll put the template on. Are you maximal? Are you maximising the fire now? So, Two minus in one, that's going to be, oh, is it? Plasma minus blast? one for cover. Minus one over. Minus one over, yep. Yeah. So, minus one for cover. That's so actually two, two hits, hits. So that's going to be four hits. 
So the first hit, in fact, the four hits, because it's the same weapon. So it's all going in the same location. Ow. Body. Body. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, so the first one is a strength eight. Plus five. Hang on. So strength eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and plus another one is 14. So that becomes a critical, which is two. The second one, which is strength eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, plus one for coordinated strike is 13, plus two is another devastating critical hit, which takes me to there and there. <laughs> and then the next one will kill me. Lovely. So all the D10, let's see what happens to my Titan. A 10! Fucking marvellous. <laughs> it blows up. Why? Why are all high when I don't want it to be high? <laughs> oh no. Right, he's gone up. I've rolled a two. So the inches that he goes up is seven, meaning that he's out of the range. But it does mean my Reaver gets a hit. Judged because of course. Perfectly. Yeah, oh yeah, judged perfectly. So he's gone. <laughs> the trees would take a hit, strength seven. We'll figure about that in a minute. And then I take D6 hits in a location on my Reaver. Would you like me to roll? Yep, you roll that, sir. So I take D two hits in the body at strength seven. So I might survive this because my Reaver's body is at least ten. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So two direct hits, which would... And actual fact, that's not bad. That is all right. That That is pretty good. That. been kind of you, not I? Yep. Yep, rolling his special weighted dice. Yep, no, I'm kidding. Some bad so, dice roll some me on so this. expensive on eBay. Yeah, it is. It is whatever's so expensive on eBay. Right. Okay. <laughs> You've still got your big lad to fire. I've still got big lad to fire, and I've still got my reaver to fire. Because that was your second round of shooting. So yeah. I've still got shooting to go. So I think Big Lad is probably going to be next. So it is my turn. The Big Lad will probably target his, his arch ne nemesis. And hopefully, hopefully, needing fives to hit. But hopefully I'll take the shields down. So 10 shots with the Apocalypse Launcher. It's minus two. No negatives for the range because we've already checked it. So I need fives and I'm re-rolling ones. So, so far, I've got four hits. I've got six hits. Are you wanting to overload your shield capacitors? I think we're good, aren't we? So, dice for the overload. Just so, roll that again. There we go. So, uh, so it doesn't go up, but he has to have a command check. Which interrupts the turn. Seven. Seven. He keeps wanting to fail these so he can get some shots off. Because <laughs> he's on a minus two. Oh, that's true. So, what's your shield currently on? Is it a four? four. Right, so dice. Rerolling a one. One's failed and. Ah! Oh, yes. Man! Takes it down. It's, it's just. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Two shots. Right, I'll roll my reactor dice because people complain that I rolled the hit last time. Um, oh, looks like. Yep, we're getting his reactor dice confused. So the first shot with a volcano is a machine spirit. And I fail! So that goes up by one and it interrupts the rest of this turn. Let's see what my machine spirit states that I'm doing. Is a four. So I got a four, which meant that the volcano cannons don't fire. Basically, the Titan just goes, and moves four inch forward. You see that <laughs> and I'm guy? like, You see that guy over there, the target? Yeah. To just blow away one shot. Right. Oh, so, you've got this guy with split fire. Right. So I've got a funny feeling both shots might go into this guy here, trying to run away. I've got a. Yeah. <laughs> If I'd have knocked his shields out with that thing. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But it ignores his shields. So, two volcano cannon shots at him. Righty oh. Do let's... I target the body? Oh, well, let's have a look, see if we've got any cover first, and then. Uh... So we've checked the cover. I have no cover. God damn it. So <laughs> but I'm out of his arc for his body. thing, so it's a minus two if he wants to particularly target a certain area. Now, can I fire Just, one shot targeted and one shot not? Yes. And if I miss? I'm yeah, even if miss, you still roll the scatter, but your targeted shot does not hit the body if it does still hit. I know, it's so it will hit a bad. random location. So fives. Are you going to go with both? I'll so do the one first, targeted. First heat is machine spirit. And he passes. So he goes up one heat. And then just roll for your second heat, yeah. 
and just goes up a heat. There we go. So, two shots then, sir, targeted against one, the body. One targeted. Oh, one targeted, needing fives. This is the targeted. This well is... off. And then the non targeted. <laughs> <laughs> so, two in a. Basically, right, let's let's figure out what this what happens here anyway. Shall we do the scatter? So, we'll do the scatter. We've actually got to figure out what happens to the trees as well. We'll do the scatter. I don't yeah. know why you're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Scatters. <laughs> but to be honest it's only one inch so that's still going to be a full hit so this is going to be four hits basically on a random location so this is going to hurt Get body. it don't matter you think if you pick legs it's just going to pop me off head and two ones so they both fail so i don't think it's going to be as devastating so, as you think no maybe not uh but it's 12 that's 15 so that makes it go up two and then the second one makes it go to 16. So that makes that go up two, and it's an MUI feedback. So not as devastating as what he thought, but still that hurt. <laughs> Just not as bad. It's a good joke, because a couple more, if them two ones wouldn't have been ones, that would have really hurt. Right, into my Reva. Right, I've checked. This guy here has and clear line of sight to this one, so I'm firing gonna, at that one. He's going to foregoing his shooting. <laughs> Freeze to hit. I'm not foregoing, no shooting. So I've got four hits. Now he can use his buddy's shield, which is really, really irritating, to be honest, but there we go. So are you wanting to overload to reroll one, sir? Nope. So four hits, then needing the freeze to start with. Free shield down. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah. It has, it's collapsed. Ow. Right. So no need to go for shield bane then with the uh, laser blaster. Not at the minus one because it's within 16. Needing freeze. All hit. I wanted that for damage. <laughs> so the first, this one. Weapon. About right. Um, so one to three. Mega well, no, it's it's this one we're targeting. Uh, one to so, three is a turbo laser. Yeah, so one to three is the, the left arm. One. Yeah, four to six is the right. So it's the right arm. So the first one is eight, nine, ten, which will disable it. The second one is eight, nine, ten, which will cause a strength seven hit. And I think that one causes a strength seven. So yeah. basically, two strength seven hits in the bodies. Yeah. First one is nothing. a two. And the second one is also a two. So nothing. Absolutely nothing. Leave that there. But we've got two collapsed shields down here. Six dice now from the Gatling Blaster. Needing freeze. That's five hits. And where does that one hit you? Second weapon. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> weapon! <laughs> All right, it so. Could it, either, though, couldn't it? it can, yes. So one to three. One to three, it's that one. Which it isn't, it's that one. So, strength seven, right, we'll do this one at a time. I well, think this is going to be easier. The, uh, strength six, nine. sorry. Six, seven, eight. So that will bounce off. So that will be a strength six. seven on body. Strength seven on body. Yeah. And that is. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you've got so, strength seven, eight on the body. So the first one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That puts one point of damage in. Yeah. Again, that's an 11, it's another point of damage, but this one will get another plus one. So that's three, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this one is uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so that's another plus one. So I didn't do any damage to him. I have hurt one of his weapon arms, but uh, yeah, I've just basically just creamed that off. <laughs> right, so orders phase. It's going to be turn three. I've got my objective. I'm not quite sure what your objective is because I completely forgot. Um, Glory's honor. So I've got to kill him. You've got to kill him. And he's not even been shooting him. <laughs> that might change this turn. That might change this turn. This time. This time. This time. Right. So, end phase. Any critical things? No, it's just an M MIU feedback. The other one has been destroyed. So, I'm down a Titan. Let's go into turn three. Right. We're still in the movement phase. Gilly's moved him up. I've moved, tried to move him out of the way. We've got to this lad here, and he's tried to push it to run forward to try and get in a bit of cover, maybe. But I failed the reactor roll. I've got a machine spirit, so my reactor's gone up. 
I've had his hand shooting, so I'm going to fire a volcano <laughs> down into these non-shielded guys. In fact, my shield my should be up another one there, because I rolled as well for the reactor mm. on the weapon. Right, so he needs a four to hit, because he out, he's out in the open and there's no minus. Ah! Watch it, watch it deviate. <laughs> hit nothing. Oh, that way nine inches. Oh, that's interesting. Did that hit the reaver? <laughs> it's going to be one hit on him, yeah. One hit on the reaver. The reaver's shields are still full. I thought I might have got a... Yeah. I did get a lucky roll with that then, but then I didn't hit. So... Yep. And the Reaver's shield collapse. Oh dear. Right, continue on with the movement phase. Right, end of the movement. We've got some shooting to do. It's looking grim. He, these guys have basically just gone, we're going to go underneath that shield envelope and we're just going to hammer each other. We're not within smash range, but it does mean we're going to, now we're going to have to start using weapon skill. So I'm going to go first with him. He's going to target his laser blasters are going to target this one. It's going to target his body, so it's a minus one. So it's a weapon skill of four, because we're in three. And I need fives, because I'm I'm targeting a particular point of the body. I got two. Right, so swap some dice round. <laughs> right, okay, sorry. Lowest first. So that will be a three. Am I plusing anything? Plus two. So that's going to be, that's an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is a devastating hit. So, so it puts one. him to his maximum and puts another point on there. And then the second one is hitting wave 8. That's a 6, so that's going to be 14. 14 plus. So it's a critical. So that goes up one. And because that can't move anymore, that goes up another one. So he will now have void shield burnout and reactor leak of two. So his heat's going to go up two points. I've then no. got my... No, no, no. That's just in the end phase. Right. It's in the end phase. So now I've got my Gatlin. This needs fours to hit. Three hits. See if I get lucky and hit him in the body. Oh, leg. So the first one is nine. That doesn't do anything. The second one is ten. That puts it up one. And the third one is going to be twelve, which puts it up another one. Yeah. You don't get no, that one. no. So it's a shame I didn't get another body hit there because I think that Titan would have uh, crumbled and gone down. You get to choose one, sir. I will pick the Reaver. Reaver. Reaver's firing at the Warhound. There's no cover. He needs, uh, there's no plus one to hit because, of course, it's within mm. short range. So that's two hits. Two now, hits. I so believe it might there. be hitting, it might be hitting me in the rear. But you have got yes, it is hitting me in the back. Now, I do have shields up. In my repair phase, I managed to get a shield up on this guy, and it's two hits on the shield. So, is this going to bring it down? In fact, go on. I'm going to try and make sure I can reroll ones. I need to survive. So, just push me further into the orange. What is it to do? Four plus. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> put shield burn on laser blasters. Oh, it's putting shield burn on the laser blasters. Uh, it's command roll for his me. Uh, oh dear. Nine. Pass. You guys passing all the time. So he needs fours to hit. It's a minus one. Yep, fours to hit, minus one for range. Two, Two hits. hits. Shield burn is on. I am not overloading that thingy again because he can't get through. Needing fives. No. So my shields collapse again because I don't want to push myself into the red. I know what's going to happen if I push myself into the red. I'm rolling that 10. He's going up with everything in him. Right. Well, it's Warlord time and he's firing at that Reaver. So, Apocalypse Missile Launcher first. He has moved closer, but he's now out in the open. So it's freeze to hit. Rerolling once. That's well, 10. I have 10 dice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think, are you uh, overcharging your shields? Yes. Yes, he is. His heat's gone up one. I don't know if there's any point to doing this. Um, I can't imagine I'm going to serve them all. But... <laughs> Why do you need fours? Yeah. All right, his gone. shields have collapsed. His shields have collapsed. And then, one at a time. On the off chance. Yep. Two volcano cannons. So the first one is two heat. And the second one is a heat. I am going to target the first one. No. 
damaged. No other hint. I'm going to target the first one that you had. Just because I can. <laughs> so the first one needed a five. Nope, misses. And then the second one needs a three. Yeah. So the first one needing a five scatter. The ten and scatter dice. As close as we can. That way, two inches. So that's, that's still going to be at least one hit. Yeah. So that's going to be three hits then with volcano cannons. It could take it. I suppose it depends where it hits him. Yeah. So that's a discard. So that's only two hits then in the leg. So the first one's 14. Which is a devastating. So that goes up so two. Again one, or is it a critical or oh, a devastating? No, no, sorry. I'm... Yep. And then the second one is 18. 18 is a crit, so that's up two. Yeah. And one of them. Right. Just stabilizes damage. Stabilizes. That, mean that means at the end in the end phase he could possibly turn one way or the other. Right then, sir, which one are you going with next? It's got a bit warlord, hasn't it? It's going with the warlord. Oh dear. You know what? He's, he's going to target him. Right, so we've checked. To me and to Gil, we're saying that it's not in cover. But I've, I've included a photograph, so if you want to comment and say Gil's cheating. <laughs> this for you, this. Well, I'll, I'll be honest, we'll, we'll, we'll end up with rolling two fives so I can see it. Right, so the first, hang on, before you roll to hit, overheat. Machine spirit. Ain't failed one of these yet. Oh, he man. still hasn't failed one of these yet. The second one is another heat. So you, but you, yeah, it's just going up two. He's got plasma, so he's he's managed to sort of keep it down. Two shots, two, two hits. hits. <laughs> That's four hits. Where do you hit, good sir? Just hit me in a weapon, please. Hit me in a weapon. Leg. Leg. That one is discarded. The leg has not been touched so far, so that's going to be, the first one will be a 14, which will be devastating, so that pluses it too. The second one is going to be 15, 16, which will be a critical, so that pluses it too. And, gives me that. And then the last one is definitely going to be a critical hit. So that goes up one, then that hits that, and then that goes to there. So I am <laughs> immobilised, locomotions have seized, stabilisers have been damaged, but I'm not dead. <laughs> Yet. I think there's going to be some emergency repairs going on here. <laughs> Yet. Yet. He's not he... dead yet. He gets the chance to fire. Can't fire anything because I've got no arcs. Oh, we're doing them in side armor now. Oh, yes, you were, actually. So the first one. Oh, that's... that's check footage. Right, looking back at the footage, I thought I got away with that then until he uh, noticed it's a side arc, which I completely forgot about. He's dead. What's going to happen to this poor, poor Titan? A five. And then according to the chart, he wildfires. So I might actually be able to shoot somebody in the face. So the objective is there. <laughs> we need to go and get it. I've, I've got a warlord now versus these two warhounds. And these two here, I've got a funny feeling my next turn is going to be end. <laughs> but we've got these two guys. These two guys are going to be firing point blank range into the river. Right then, sir, what are you firing first? I will fire turbo lasers. The turbo lasers, two guys, six shots. Are you targeting a particular location? He is currently two points it's down on his body. One. So minus one, you're going to need fives because your weapon skills only a four plus. I'd rather just shoot. Okay. So he's shooting. Fat now. Good for body. Good for body, yep. Fives then, sir. Let's blow us all up. Let's blow us all up. That would be quite funny. Two hits. In fact, actually, that would have just been two hits. <laughs> so, yeah. no need so. to roll for locations. So, roll damage. Apply. Oh, they're both the same. So, first four, which would be an eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve would be a direct hit. And the second one would be a 12, but because of the plus one, it would make it a 13. So that would go up two points. So that's pretty, some pretty serious hits in the body there. Next, lad. Vulcan Megavolta. You might as well aim for body with that. I know, that's what I was thinking. Does he get the plus one for being... Yep, uh, within short range. So it's just fours. So it's fours. Ooh, that's a lot of hits on the body. This is strength six. It that's is, but it's strength four. But I am on plus two already. It's like six, then. So, and you've not rolled any one. So, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. So that one would bounce off. Yep, that tens. That which would hurt. So four, four, eight, nine, ten. The first one would be a direct hit. The second one would be a plus three. So that would be another direct hit. I've got no more armor on that location. So that would be a reactor leak. The sixes then would. Um, so it's four ten. plus six is ten. Plus three is devastating. So that goes at one. And then that would again also be another devastating. So <laughs> my reaver is pretty much on the way out here. And I didn't kill a single titan. <laughs> Oh Possible my, list. are you targeting? Will, will this still scatter? Yes. Oh dear. Yeah, this could be quite <laughs> devastating. Are you going to go for the body again though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he needs to. One more hit on that body and he's going to, I'm going to go. One, one hit, hit, one miss. Scatter. Let's find out what happens to the miss. I should have back maximum fired it, should I? You should have done. Uh, the scatter. Oh, fucking <laughs> it again. That way it's six. It's not going to hit anything. anything. It's not going to hit anything. So two hits on the body. Unless you roll a double one, I'm going to be in a world of pain here. Nope. We, He's dead. We are going He's to dead. be in a world of pain. Well, it depends what I roll. <laughs> what I need now, this is when I need a 10. <laughs> well, this is when I don't get a 10. Oh! A ten. <laughs> Hang on, man. D3. So that's a three. And the reaver's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so that's going to get all three of them. What a sacrifice. <laughs> right, so we've measured range. All of them are in range. We've rolled a D6 to see how many hits each are taking. That one's taking four, four, and three. So I'm going to start with this one. This is the non-damaged one. It's taking four strength, nine hits, because it's scale plus one. And it takes it in the head. So that one is ignored. So that's nine. That's 11. That's one. And then that's nine, 10, 11, 12. That's still a direct. And, this and one then is a plus one. that's 14, 15, which would actually be devastating. So you've taken that in your head, on the hard head, quite nicely there. It's right. Five. It's the other lad that we're going to have a problem with, because if this hits him in his body, which is a one in six chance, actually, no, special's body as well. Is it? Yes. So two in six chance. It's like a D3. Like, if this hits him in his body, he's dead. Oh, it's a weapon! Hang on! <laughs> right, which, can it which one? One to three, four to six. So, yeah, we don't, we don't matter. Exactly same, so the first one is strength 9, 10, 11, 12, which will disable the weapon. Yeah. The second one is a strength 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a strength 9 on so the body. So that's a strength 9 on the body. And that one is as well. And that one is, and that one is. So, three <laughs> so, double one, three ones. First yeah. one. That will kill it's it. dead. <laughs> right, let's work out what's going to happen to this one yeah. before we work out if that explodes. Because if this explodes as well, I will laugh. My, I really will find it funny. If I want to take some hits on the legs, this one could be in trouble. Weapon. Taking it weapon hit. So it's got three weapons. We'll defree it across. One, one two, two three. three, four, five, six. So Gatling Blaster, Gatling Blaster takes a strength nine, 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12 to begin with. That will get it. And then 14. Which is a strength 9 on body. And then another 14. So strength two body. strength 9 on the body is the first one. Well, is you roll them both and you and then 13. The oh, yeah. Well, so the first one then is 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, one. And, and then the fir devastating. 13. Devastating. devastating. Go up two. Yep, goes up two points. Two, so Reaver's been hurt. Right. <laughs> So he's lost, I've lost a reaver, but because of a reaver explosion, he's lost a warhound. What happens to your warhound, sir? Oh, oh, if it would have been a zero, that would have been funny. Laid low. So you move, D6 in a random direction, then you fall. And you can collide with stuff. This way. That way, four inches. Right, so we're going into the end phase. <laughs> I have... A warlord left. <laughs> and I've got to get that objective. And you've got to kill me. What's your secondary objectives? Holding quarters. Holding quarters. So how many points? If the game was to end now, how many points would you get? I would get six. So you would get six points. Now I get... What's the warhound scale? Six. 
I get four victory points for each Titan I get with a scale of um, uh, five or more. So each Titan is worth four VPs. What? Uh, just four victory points. What, for it surviving? Or no, for, it? for me killing you. Ah. So basically my secondary objective is to destroy you. As well as grab all of that, but it's not like mega books points if I do destroy you. And I've only managed to take down one, but both of these two have got burned out void shields. They both hurt quite badly, because the other one's actually hurt quite bad as well, isn't it now? The other warhound. That one's gone. No, he's took oh, damage that one. on his oh, head. Oh, right, he took damage on his head. Right, yeah. So if I target his head, then it'll be funny. <laughs> see so it. that one's gone, kind of. And then... So I've got to take a pound in from these guys. I'll be honest, I don't think I can do it, but we'll, uh, we'll break it into another turn and see what happens. Right, so my Titans move forward a bit, try and get out of line of sight. I've managed to get the split fire orders on these. Gil's tried to get this guy out. We've checked the arc. He is, the back end of him is still in the arc, so I'm still going to be able to shoot him with a weapon, which is... Very crafty, very clever there, Gil, but <laughs> basically a bit like my lad. Didn't, didn't, didn't quite make it. <laughs> Another inch. Another inch. This is, can fire. Sorry, I'm alive. He did fire his, um, his multiple barrage weapons, did reduce my shields quite down. But these, him here, had to do emergency repairs. Didn't really get much back from the emergency repairs. But, yeah. but he's now going to try and... Uh, he looked busy, yeah. He's now going to try and pack a this unit. Right, oh yeah, my Apocalypse Missile managed to collapse his shield, so he's going to be in some trouble if the um, if the Volcano Cannon does hit him. This guy. Yes. Gatling Blaster then. Yep. Freeze to hit. Freeze to hit then, sir. Damn it. <laughs> Let's take some shields. Um, what else have you got to fire? I've got Apocalypse Missile Launcher and Laser Blaster. Go on, I'm going to re-roll ones. Hey! <laughs> That's a good job. I'm in four plus territory. So I lose two. His shields actually have collapsed. God damn it. Laser blaster then. Yep. Minus one for range. Alright. One hit. Where do you hit? The wall. The wall. <laughs> and it doesn't do anything. And, and no then the apocalypse missile apocalypse does nothing because of the uh, yeah it. the warlord just goes. <laughs> I just think I could target that, but I ain't got split fire. No, you haven't, mate. That, yeah, that mate. annoyance. That annoyance, but you can't see it, so it would need to be minus two to hit, yeah. and you need to be at least, as we found out, strength six to be able to damage them. <laughs> yes, yeah, so right. So before this thing kills my warlord, the warlord will split fire. It will fire one of its volcano cannons at him. It will fire its apocalypse missiles and another volcano cannon at him. Right, so the apocalypse first is going to be 10 shots. Are you overloading for your sh Well, you don't have to declare yet. I need freeze. Rerolling the ones because you are my intended chosen target. I got seven. Do you wish to. I'm, I am going to cuss. Uh... Yep, so what do you do? No heat expended for the shields. Five, He's five, in control. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that would have been quite hurtful. Right then, sir. That's some collapsed shields there. <laughs> That's still. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh dear. That, that really, really collapse. hurt them. That really hurt the them. Volcano. Right, so the volcano, the heat. I roll them both together. Sorry. So it misses and generates a heat token. So this is on the reaver. Get two inch that way again, so in actual fact, it's going to be two hits. Oh, I need to find out where I hit you. Head. It does! <laughs> Damn it! The only bit undamaged, and I hit him in the head. So this is going to be That's a 15, 15, which is a devastating. It's not a critical. Oh, no, dear. devastating. Yeah, I would like, oh, it's not a critical. No, 15 needs uh, 17. 17 plus whatever damage. That is Nothing. a critical. So you've got two up. Yeah. And, and one on there. 
So you've got an MUI feedback. So that's going to be minus two to your command check. So that might be quite beneficial to you. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to hit him hard, possibly in the legs. If I hit him in the legs, I might have been able to kill it. <laughs> right, this one targeting him. I'm going to have to target his head to try and do anything damage-wise. Because if I don't, and I hit some of the other extremities, he's going to survive it. Now it is side, so I am going to have a plus one, but still. So the single shot, needing fives, to hit him in the head. No! <laughs> I scatter. That way seven, well off. I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen. I think my titan is doomed. So, it's opening fire. My Titan's got no shields. He's still on full health, but still no shields. <laughs> uh, I've got no cover. He needs freeze. One, hit. One missed. Right, so. I have the correct dice for scattering. You have the correct dice for scattering for once. Oh, Does that way two inch, which is pretty much going to be a hit. So that's still going to be four hits. With Volcano, you didn't roll your heat. First one. Heat. Second one. We were excited. Double heat. We were. We were excited. Have you gone into orange? Just. Oh, your shield might collapse. <laughs> right. Yeah. So four hits. And that's what where... happens with <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Four hits and where do you hit me? And the scattered ice. <laughs> God that damn it. That counts as a six. That's that one. That, that was justice like was it. that. So the two first then. So that would be 14 on the leg. Which will be a direct hit, so that's one point of damage. The other one will be a 15, which is devastating, that goes up two. The last one will be an 18, plus one is 19, so that'll be a critical, that goes up two, and the stabilizers are damaged. Okay, no cannons. Barrage. Yep, so basically, what is this? What we're gonna, yep, we're gonna go with his barrage four. now. Strength four plus two, so if you went for the leg, so that will so be 10. So in actual fact, yeah, you still can't hurt anything. Unless, nope, still can't even hurt the, oh, arms are 11. <laughs> so in actual fact, his apocalypse missile launchers can't hurt anything. Yeah. I told you I should have took Terminators. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Terminators. Terminators. <laughs> I thought you said Terminators then. <laughs> Some epic Terminators just turn up here like, hooray. Put a suppression mark on it. <laughs> Under fire. Right. Um... Yeah. That's the end of that one. The end of that one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this is going to go very well. I don't know. What turn are we on? I think this is turn four to five. Yeah. Oh dear. One warlord versus a warlord of either. This is like, uh, you know, when uh, wait, Mom, the Princess Man on the, um, Armageddon went into that horde of orcs and just killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I'll just detonate it. It's fine. Right. You already did that, yeah. I did, yes. But I didn't didn't have the success that I thought it was going to have. I thought it was going to take out a lot more. Arrgh. Let's command check. Because I've got a funny feeling if you win the command roll... Well, I've got a um, kid in orange here. Yeah, I know you have. I know you've got a kid in orange, but... Uh, not command roll. Roll to see who goes first. Three. And uh, yeah, you, we need to roll the stabilizer. So I will be able to have a choice, which I will, because I'm on, I'm on my Todd. I will be then going first, I think, with some first fire action. Hopefully, if I pass. But I do need to see which direction my guy <laughs> turns to. So I want to freeze left, which he does. <laughs> so he's pretty much oh, turning that way. What does yours turn? Because yours is still stabilized. Uh, D D six. He also turns left. <laughs> so so we kind of turn away from each other. <laughs> oh dear. And then I expose my side to that. Oh, this is not funny. Right. It's in the movement phase. We've managed to reorders. First fire. First fire. Now, because I'm facing this way, I'm going to try and target the head of this guy here. Again. Again. With my... Uh... <laughs> So I need to roll for my heat. That's why I had a dice in my hand. Oh, no. Push me right into orange. <laughs> oh, well. My shields might collapse. They're already collapsed. Don't really matter. Right. Oh, Jesus. 
that way three which to be honest will take it off the table because if it goes that way two inch it's off the table so off the table means i don't do anything that was bad if i would have got that five i probably could have really really hurt that guy uh i mean what would be the pluses you get a plus three to start plus with. three to start with so if i wouldn't have rolled any ones See it probably, probably would have been critical hit which would have been that that and then a second critical hit would have been dead I missed. <laughs> duck, duck and weave. <laughs> oh. You're going to fire him, sir? Yes. You're going to put me out of my misery, sir? You're going to target my legs, sir? <laughs> you just want me to go up more. I do, yeah, your heat. So he's gone up one, same as me. He's going to target. Are you targeting the legs or are you just going to try and hit a random location? Well, I've got target. Leg. Oh, you get it, don't you? <laughs> you, you hit me in legs. <laughs> I can't target you. Busted weapon balls. <laughs> Damn it! And he's on, in my side as well, so he pluses another one to these two, two, because yeah, it's gonna, a blast. I'm roll no ones though. This is true. Oh, two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's fourteen. That will make it fifteen, which is a devastating hit. Which uh, fifteen? Sorry. So that's fourteen, fifteen. It's actually a critical. Because it's plus two for my yeah. damage already. So that goes up two, and that, that would also go up. So I'm currently stabilised the damage locomotion C. So any more hits in this leg is, is going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Right, um, rest at movement phase. Right, in the repair phase, Gil managed to get his shields back on this guy. Me, uh, me skilled crews. Skilled crews. <laughs> so in actual fact, even if I hit him, with my volcano cannons, because he's not within the arc for my Vulc my apocalypse launchers, I ain't going to be able to. He's going to collapse my shields at best, aren't you? Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Which was the plan. Yep, and then he gets to shoot that into me, into my side, probably target my legs again, and that'll be it. That'll be a dead titan. And that so we'll. Uh, oh yeah. In fact, I'll probably go with this one first, just to try and see if he can get a Titan engine kill. Engine kill, that's what we're called, isn't it? Engine kills. So, I hit you with one of my volcanoes. The other one scatters. That way, six. Don't think that's going to hit anything. So that'll be two hits on your shields. Roll your heat, Fred. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. First one. Tower this oh, point, it does. Is it? Double. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> it's not going to affect I'm in red. Now anyway, is no, it? no. Just when I roll that 10 in case I don't actually die on this one, and then I roll 10, which is going to happen. Right, so go on then. Two shields. One collapsed. Which will. Still it's still got shields. Damn it. It's because I ended up turning. If it had not turned, I would have been able to get my launches at you. Because of the damage. Like the damage. damage right. I'm guessing. Who are you going with? I'm going to go with Reaver, you know. He's it's... going with Reaver. He's in my front arc, so there's no pluses, but I'm guessing you're targeting the leg. Yeah. Radio. Oh, so he's going to go with the weakest weapon first. No, the Apocalypse <laughs> is weakest. Gatling he's going, he's going with Gatling Blaster. I'm not he's weighing... targeting the leg. I'm not weighing short range. No. It's, just... it's fives. And he missed. <laughs> if you're targeting the leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, minus yeah, two, so that would be misses. So, laser blaster. Are you, again, are you targeting the leg? Yeah. All right, yeah, go on then. One. One. <laughs> but this is strength it's eight. Plus three from my end as well. So, eight. Oh, wow. That is a devastating hit because even at 14, 15, 16, 17 for plus three for my armor makes it, dev makes it critical. That goes up one. That can't go up anymore, so it goes up again. And my Titan just falls <laughs> just so like goes oh yeah, uh, i'm laid low so i fall i don't even shoot if i'd have got a five or seven and wildfired and took something out at the same time <laughs> i would have actually that would have been quite funny but no it's laid low that's it i've been wiped out that's the first game i've been wiped out on titanicus oh dear trying to run forward to get that objective again the retrieval is one of the hardest missions i've come across I think it first, rather than trying to pagger it forward, <laughs> take it in first couple of turns, I just need to leave the crew to suffer. It's probably worth <laughs> shooting 
have should have been your Riva forward for that. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. And having your war down to Harry. Yeah, yeah. Um, good note on squadrons. If you've ever used squadrons before, if you've never used squadrons before, I think I will be from now on using my warhounds in squadrons. But I'm going to go back to the drawing board. I'm going to buy myself some more warhounds. I'm going to buy myself <laughs> some more Reavers. Definitely want more Reavers. We've just been looking at chain fists and power fists and... I don't care if my reaver dies, just get it in there. <laughs> Stick it up something. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll hurt. I think actually there's a stratagem as well that lets you detonate your own titan. It is. I was looking so at I think that would be quite fun to have some suicidal reavers move forward. <laughs> just, just kill themselves. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. Go to rootstem.co.uk. Three pounds a month will get you access to all my videos. Sometimes up to five weeks early at the moment. Um, so that's that's not bad. Well, time of recording anyway, but you guys are not going to see this for about four weeks on YouTube. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.